Alpha Institute, Al Madina Travel, Salum Jida, Saint Info International, Actori Hatijania in America, Si Njital Sunyu Imam Muhammad Muntaha Saho, Nyolin Dimai, Emission Bumak, Bidi Sandine. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, Salatu Salamu Ala Maulana Rasulillah. Hamna, inshallah, then you go very quickly. Chi. Lin you waste won't more in yard of Suin Jangon, or in your hamne, but it's in a wall of be laroed enough to or put in your compound. So, inshallah, we're going to go very quickly with our uh, sister Salamata. Uh, we are going to try to, inshallah, cover what we have, have done in the last two lessons. We're not maybe, um, we're not going to. A lot of details, but we will make sure that everything is is understood. So here, the chapter is known as uh, chapter on Sahu. Sahu is sometimes um, generally uh, translated as forgetfulness you know, in prayer. So inshallah, you can please help. You can read uh, from here. Salamata. The prostration okay. from here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just writing down this so I remember. Okay. No, you don't uh, have to write uh, down now. Just read. Are you going to have the translated uh, copy, inshallah? Okay. Mm-hmm. The prostration of, you said a sahwa? However, you can read it. Okay, sahwa in the prayer is a sunnah. Yes, the, subtract- go, go ahead. Go, no, 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 no. Okay, so I will, I will stop you from time to time so I can explain. The procession okay. of Sahu, of Sahu in the prayer is a Sunnah. It means it's a practice of the Holy Prophet. Some scholars say it is Sunnah. It means if one doesn't do it, it's not going to um, nullify the prayer. For those who say it's Wajib, it's Fard, if one misses it, then it's going to nullify the prayer. But here I would prefer to translate it as. Uh, sunnah meaning it is the teaching, the practice of the Prophet because everything the Prophet Sallallahu practiced or taught can be translated, it can be um, called a sunnah. Okay? And that, so this is not like sunnah versus fard, but this is a sunnah meaning the way of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu the linguistic uh, sunnah. Okay? Go ahead, please. Or subtracting something from the prayer one makes two prostrations probably before the final salam and after the completion of the two tashahuds. Tashahud. Tashahud. Tashahuds. Tashahuds. Uh huh. Okay, go ahead. He then he then makes another tashahud. Oh no. Tashahud. Uh huh. And another salam. Okay, here it may it means that. Uh, any abstraction, any I mean, subtraction, whenever you uh, subtract something, that means one um, uh, strong sunnah or two light sunnah from the prayer, the way one makes it up, the way you make it up is to make two sujo, two prostrations, which is known, which are known as qabli, before the final salam. And after the completion of the two tashahuds, Meaning, you know, in Salah, you generally have uh, one or two tashahud. In Salah, you have either one or two tashahud. Only in Fajr's prayer, we have one tashahud. In other Salawat, we have two tashahud. So when you finish the last tashahud, that's when you are going to make the two sujuds, two prostrations. Then according to the um, madhab of the, of, the, of, the, of the author, one has to bring, one should bring another tashahud which is a short tashahud. Some scholars say you don't have to. You can just do two sujood and then you say your final salam. Whichever you do is good, inshallah. Keep going. For an addition, two prostrations after the salam ba'adi are made, then another tashahud. 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 Uh-huh. tashahud. And, and, salam. and salam. Yes, if you add, if you add to the prayer, 
you know whether what you add is a strong sooner or two sunas or something that is obligatory such as a raka by mistake or a ruko or a sujud by mistake this is how you fix it you are going to bring two sujud after your final salam but before you um do the 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 the, the, the other salam he said another tashahud is also uh, required meaning you have to do another tashahud again this is also uh, a, a difference from among the scholars one can do this tashahud according to scholars to other scholars you don't have to okay but the way you rectify you know something that is added to the prayer is to perform two prostrations after the salam after the final salam that's known as ba'di ba'd means after ba'di means something that is done afterwards okay Go ahead, please. If one subtracts from and adds to the prayer, mm -hmm. he should prostrate before the salam. For example, one <clears throat> misses the first tashahud. You know, he has what? What? What has he done? If you have, if you miss the first tashahud, what is that called? For example, after two rakah, you went up from the sujood, you know, and you forgetfully missed the, the the tashahud what did you do to the prayer did you add or did you subtract did you add to the prayer by you, doing that or did you subtract you added to it no you subtracted just the, the the tashahud you missed the tashahud that means you didn't add subtract you oh. you decreased something that is part of the prayer so you forgetfully missed Missed the tashahud. That means you subtracted, right? So that's mm -hmm. subtracting that something from the prayer. Then, in your fourth rakah, for example, by mistake, you instead of performing two sujud, you did three sujud. What did you do to the prayer? Did you add to the prayer or did you subtract? You added. If you do two sujud and they did. So instead of two sujood, you did what? Three. That means you added. So in this prayer, yeah. you subtracted something from it mm -hmm. and at the same time added something to it. Mm -hmm. How to fix it that? He said you should prostrate before salam. You should prostrate before the salam. You know, if you do both, yeah. if you do both decreasing and adding to the prayer, this is how you fix mm -hmm. it. You prostrate it. You prostrate before salam. In our uh, past, um, in our past uh, classes, I said that uh, the four madhahib have different views regarding the ahadith which are uh, narrated from the Holy Prophet Sallallahu or the practice for the Prophet Sallallahu how to understand them. For um, to the madhahib of Imam Shafi'i, every single um, sahu is fixed with qabli, meaning you are going to make sujood before salam. The opposite is the mother of Imam Abu Hanifa. All sujood sahus for him is ba'di. And for Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, he said, you should go back to the hadith of the Prophet and see what he did. If in that um, particular case he did qabli, you do qabli. If he did ba'di, you do ba'di. If, if he didn't do what he did, if you don't know what he did or there is nothing narrated from him, then you make it qabli. That's a little bit similar to the method, the madhab of Imam Malik, which um, to me makes uh, more sense. Because Imam Malik went to the Prophet Sallallahu teaching and he saw that whenever he decreased it, he decreased, you know, whenever he subtracted, he performed qabli. And whenever he added, he performed body. And if there is both, Imam Malik, we will give priority to the decrease and then um, to the subtraction and then make sujood before salam. Is it clear? Clear enough? Yeah, okay. it, it makes sense. Makes sense, okay. So let's go to the next paragraph. Now, if one... Mm -hmm. If one forgets the qabli and says the salam, he should prostrate if a long time has not passed. 
Okay, or? If a long time has passed or he left the masjid, the prostration is invalid. In the case of leaving the, the Qabli. In the case of leaving the, the Qabli, uh -huh. the prayer is invalid if three or more sunnahs were missed, but not if it was less than that. Thank you very much. So that's what I'm saying. وَمَنْ نَسْيَ السُّجُودَ الْقَبْلِيَ حَتَّى سَلَّمَ سَجَدَ إِنْ كَانَ قَرِيبًا وَإِنْ طَالَ وَخَرَجَ مِنَ الْمَسْجِدِ بَطَلَ السُّجُودُ وَتَبْطُلُ الصَّلَاةُ مَعَهُ إِنْ كَانَ عَنْ ثَلَاثِ سُنَنٍ أَوْ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ ذَلِكُ وَإِلَّا فَلَا تَبْطُلُ So let's say you are supposed to um, perform a qabli, like to perform two sujood before salam, but you forgot. And right after you make salam, you um, remember what you're going to do. Just do them. But if um, a long time has passed, or you've you, you, you've gotten uh, you've got out of the masjid, he said, if uh, in that case you're not supposed to do qabli anymore, what will happen? We're just going to see how many sunnah did you miss. If the reason why you were supposed to sujood, to make qabli is, uh, is one sunnah or two sunnah, you know, he said, then you don't have to do anything. And your salah is valid because you're already out of the masjid because a long time has already passed. But if it is more, if it is three or more sunnahs, then your salah, then you cannot make qabli anymore. Therefore, the salah is invalid. You're going to have to make up the prayer. Is it clear? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> now, if one forgets Ba'di, go ahead. Mm -hmm. If one forgets the Ba'di, he must prostrate it even if a year had passed. If one misses an obligation. So the Ba'di is, uh, is worse. Let's say you are supposed to do a Ba'di sujood. But for some reason you forgot. You didn't remember after Salah. You didn't remember after one week, after two weeks, after three months, after a year. You say, oh, when I went to Senegal in my last, uh, my last vacation, I remember I did make a mistake. And I was, just, I was supposed to make sujood after Salah, but I didn't. I forgot. What are you, what are you, what's going to happen? Are you going to say, I'm going to go make the prayer up? He said, no. Because it is a body, even if you remember after one year, you're just going to go and make it. If you have wudu, go and make it. You don't have wudu, go make wudu and go do the body. Because body is targhim li shaitan. You know? If, okay... Now, okay, that's what he said. وَمَنْ نَسْيَ سُجُودَ الْبَعْدِ سَجَدَهُ وَلَوْ بَعْدَ عَامٍ Okay, continue. وَمَنْ نَقَسَ فَرِيضَةً فَلَا يُجِزِيهِ فَلَا يُجِزِيهِ سُجُودُ عَنَا كُوَنْيِ فَرَتَ نَنَا سُجُودُ دُكُو 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 Let's read it in English. If one misses an obligation from the prayer, then a prostration is not sufficient. What does that mean? What do you think that that, that means? It's not enough. Okay, can you tell me what, what, what does it mean? What does this mean? This sentence itself, what do you think it means? This is an obligation from the prayer that a frustration is not sufficient. Um, I think it means that um, is they're going to de they're going to need to do more than one prostration. Mm, no. 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 What 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 is the problem here? Before we talk about the prostration. Uh, what is what is the pro what what is what is missing here in in, in this case? This is obligation from and, the prayer. Yes, so you miss one uh, an obligation. What is an obligation? Can you give me an example of an obligation in the prayer or from the prayer? Um, like to do wudu, like before a prayer. No, that's not an obligation. That's a condition. Condition. Okay. Um, an obligation is different from a condition. 
The difference between obligation and condition is this. A condition is something that we, is something without which the action is not valid. Yet, but, but, it's, but it's not part of the action. But it is not part of the action. That's a condition. It is something without which the action is not valid. But it's not part of the action. An obligation is something without which the action is not valid yet, but it is part of the of, of the action, right? Mm -hmm. So is wudu part of the prayer? No. So wudu is not part of the prayer. It is outside the, anti, the entity of the prayer. But without wudu, your, you have, your prayer is not accepted. It's not, it's not valid. Is saying Allahu Akbar to begin the prayer part of the mm -hmm. prayer? Yes. Is it an obligation? Yes. It is an obligation, it's part of the prayer. Is reciting Fatiha, for example, mm -hmm. part of the prayer? And it is an yes. obligation. Performing, making a sujood, for example, making sujood, mm -hmm. is it an obligation? It is. And it is part of the yes. prayer. So if you, if you, for example, miss one sujood or one rukur inside the prayer, let's say, in my first rakah, I only did one sujood. Or I didn't do rukur. After, after Fatiha in Surah, I just went all the way to, down to make the sujood. I did the two sujood without a rukur in my first rakah. Mm -hmm. And I remember that, for example, in my fourth rakah. Am I going to say, okay, because I decreased something in the prayer, then the solution is to make two sujood before salam. Mm -hmm. What the author is saying, no, 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 no. Because for the two sujood fixed, fixes, fi they fix sunnah that is left. One sunnah, two sunnah, for example. But if you miss an obligation, only sujood cannot fix it. You are going to have to bring that obligation. Okay? You are going to have to bring that obligation. Because this ruku you forgot, or this sujood you forgot, it, was, it is in the first rakah, and now you are in your fourth rakah, we are going to make, we are going to consider the first rakah as being nullified. Okay? You are, have, you are going to have to bring another rakah. Right? However, if, for example, I was praying uh, Fajr, in my first rakah, I do only one sujood. And I get up and I start reciting Surah Al-Fatiha. In the middle of my recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha, I remember, oh, I only did one sujood. In this case, I'm not going to say I'm going to continue or cancel, and cancel this rakah, or I'm going to continue and just make two sujood before salam. No, I'm going to go back down. Mm. and perform that missed sujood, mm -hmm. then I will make sujood, you know, after salam because I have added to the prayer. Mm. You understand? So if you yeah. miss an obligation, you cannot just fix it with, you cannot fix it with just a sujood. You have to bring it first, then you, have, you do the sujood. That's why he says, uh, if one misses an obligation from the prayer, then a prostration is not sufficient. Whenever you hear here a prostration, it doesn't mean like just one single prayer. He means the two prostrations. When we say a prostration here, we mean a qabli prostration or a body prostration. Okay? We're not talking about plural or single here. Okay? okay. So prostration fixes the sunan missed. But they cannot fix the fard the obligation missed without, unless the father is already, uh, unless the father is, um, is, is, is brought back. You have to bring the father, then you make the sujood. Okay? Only the prostration is sufficient. Uh, I mean, is, is only, prost uh, only prostration is not sufficient. Is it clear? If yeah, you, if it's make, um, uh, I... I can picture it now inside my head, like with the sujood and the rakat and stuff. So it makes it, now I understand what now you Now you mean. understand. Okay, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's keep going. If one forgets. 
if one forgets a recommended act of the prayer, then there is no frustration. Okay, so if what is forgotten is not a fard, nor a sunnah, but rather a recommended act of the prayer, it's called like fadila in the Maliki Madhab. You know, the sunnahs if in the Maliki Madhab, they have... Um, uh, they have great. They have degrees. There are, you know, there are some sunnas they call sunnah. There are some sunnas which are called fadila, such as saying Subhanahu Rabbi al Allah in sujood, for example. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a recommended act of, uh, in the, of, of the prayer. If you forget to say Subhanahu Rabbi al Allah, you don't do sujood. Okay, you don't. You, you just let it go. It's a fadila. Okay. Or, for example, if you forget one light sunnah, you forget one light sunnah. Hmm? One light sunnah. What is a light sunnah? Meaning, there's no light sunnah, but lesser than the uh, strong sunnahs. No light sunnah is just, like, for example, Sami Allah Liman Hamida is a sunnah. But if you forget only one Sami Allah Liman Hamida, you're not going to do sujood. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you forget a strong sunnah, okay, even if it is one you're going to make, the, the, the sujood, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Law tech. Um, where, where are we? Okay, sorry. Uh -huh. We finished that part. Okay, go ahead before, where is this? Uh, okay. The qabli is performed due to missing two or more sunnahs. Good. As, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh -huh. As for one sunnah, there is no prostration needed mm. unless it was the silent or audible recitations. Hmm. Yeah, this is just, it's just like talking about what I um, just mentioned. The qabli is performed due to Missing two or more yeah. sunnahs. <clears throat> you know, as for one sunnah, there is no prostration needed. Unless it was <coughs> the silent or audible recitations. For example, if you were supposed to recite silent mm -hmm. and you recited audibly, uh, or you were supposed to recite audible, to do uh, audible recitation, and then you did like you did, you, you recited in uh, silently. In both cases, you have to make sujood. What does this mean? It means here that if mm -hmm. the sunnah is strong, one is enough for sujood to be done. Mm -hmm. If the sunnah is not very strong, then you don't need to make sujood unless it is two sunnah, at least two sunnah. You know, I um, gave it to people last time or the day, the, the class before. Sina, nishina, nikada, jimani. Ta'ani addu sunani addu sunani thamani. You know, two scenes, meanings, two scenes or two sheens or two gems. Who can help me with that? Maybe Fatima Cham or Fatima Ibrahim? I can help her. Yeah. What, 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 are the, what are the two scenes? So the two scenes are Asiru and Surah Very good. A surah is a silent recitation and a surah is reciting a surah. Okay. The two shins. So the two shins are the two tashahud. Um, the two tashahud. Uh, tahiyatu lillahi in the first uh, two rakahs and a tahiyatu lillahi in the last rakah. The two tashahud. Okay. What are the two jims? The two gems are Jahru and Julosu. Al-Jahru and Julos. Jahru is, is audible recitation, right? And Julos is sitting. Yes. Okay. So these are and sitting. The yeah, I'm coming. No, no. I'm, I just want to make sure that these are the strong ones. Okay. These six are the strong sunnas. Salamata. Okay. And Naitu. If you miss any of these sunnas, even if it is one, then you have to, you're going to make one sujood. You're going to make sujood kabli. You miss only, for example, recitation of a surah. You don't have to make it two. 
you miss one uh, you, you 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 miss one tashahut you're going to have to make sujood okay you did pray you did um, recite uh, silently when you had to recite uh, audibly then you're going to have to make sujood these are the strong sunnas then the last two are sunnas but they are lighter sunnas the two the two ta, you have two sin sura and sir you have two jim uh, julus and jahar you have two shin the two tashahut now you have two ta. what are the two ta's fatima takbir and tahmid takbir and tahmid takbir is saying allahu akbar all Allahu Akbar that are in the prayer except for the first one. The first one is called Takbiratul Ihram. That is an obligation. That is the takbir that makes you enter into the prayer, without which you're not praying. That's the takbir without which you're not praying. If one, for example, come and recite Suratul Fatiha, Surahs, and do every, all the four akat, without doing the first takbir, he's not praying. But any other takbir is a lighter sunnah. Saying Sami Allah liman hamid, that's tahmid, is a lighter sunnah. Two of them, you know, if you miss one takbir and one al Sami Allah liman hamid, for example, you're going to have to make sujood. But if you miss either or one of them, then you're not going to make sujood. Is it clear, Salamata? Yeah, it Na makes sense. Naitu, is it clear? Sister Naitu, are you with us? It looks like your microphone is silent, Naitu. Uh -huh. I'm here. You're here. Is, do you have any question or everything is so far clear? It's clear so far. Everything is clear? Uh, it's a little bit clear for me. Okay, what, is not, what, isn't, what isn't clear for you? Silent, silent, reciting silent or audible. Okay, so um, that's, that concerns men generally, because women, they do not recite audible, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Women, they do not recite okay. audible, so. Okay. Okay. Those who, mm -hmm. say that, those who say that women recite audible, they say the, uh, lo the loudest they can recite is uh, when the person who is right next to them can hear them. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the audible recitation of a of a woman. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. You know when you recite like it's not it's not going to be like how the imam or the man recite. Yeah. When everyone can yes. hear. But mm -hmm. if you if you if you recite, uh, if if your recitation is as loud as if I mean, if if the person right next to you, close to you, could hear mm -hmm. you, that's your audible recitation. As a woman, mm -hmm. so that's why here you don't have to worry, inshallah. Okay. Is there any other concern? Mm, it's okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, where are where are we? Okay, so here this is the explanation of what we just did here. Can you read? Can you read it, Salimata? Salamata. Salama, can you see? We don't hear you. If you don't, if you hear me, I don't hear you. Hello. Yes. Oh, the screen has one of them. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, you want me to continue? From... Yeah. So whoever, this is the explanation of this case we just explained. Mm. So whoever recites oh. silently, uh huh. Okay. So whoever recites silently in an audible prayer should prostrate before the salam. Whoever recites audibly in a silent prayer should prostrate after the salam. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't need any explanation, I think. Let me see here. What am I doing there?
Can you guys? Okay. Sorry. Can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Continue, uh, Fatima. Uh, Salama. Whoever speaks out of forgetfulness must prostrate after the salam. Yes, but if that. One... Okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Uh-huh. If one. No, no, says no, no, salam... no, 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 we're going. Wait, um, let me hear. Let me, let me clarify okay. that. That is only <clears throat> if, you, if you do not speak too much. If, I mean, if, for example, one word, two words out of mistake, you know, then you just, you can fix it with prostration, right? But if you forget your phone is ringing and you forget you're in prayer and you say, okay, ma, ma, Baba, uh, Salaam Alaikum, uh, okay, and then you start talking, uh, you know, about your problems, how much you miss them and this and this and this and this, you know, then you're not in prayer anymore, right? Is it clear? So when we talk about speaking forgetful, forgetfully, it has to, it doesn't have to be it, it it has to be something that is moderate, not you know something that is much. <clears throat> Continue. Okay. <clears throat> if one says salam forgettingly after the after two rakas, say that he again. Prostrate. Okay, go ahead. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we say forgettingly, but I don't know. I I would say forgetfully, but forgettingly I think is clear. It's, it's, it's English. Okay. Uh uh-huh. If one says salam forgettingly after two raka, uh huh. He should prostrate after the salam. Okay, that with that meaning that you are praying Bahar and by mistake you made salam at the two raka. What are you going to do? Just get up and complete the salah and after salam uh you make two sujood okay you make two sujood meaning yeah. you sujood but you fix it with a body sujood is it clear mm-hmm. if it's not clear let me know for example you're praying bahar and you j- after two raka you make salam that's by mistake mm-hmm. you go you you're not going to say oh let me do the salah again no just get up and make takbir to finish the the next two raka the following mm-hmm. two rakas and after you do your final salam, you bring two other sujood and then you make another salam. Okay, continue. If one adds one or two rakas to the prayer, he should prostrate after the salam. Yeah, that means, that's like uh, here, the, main, the reason why I believe he brought it here is to tell you that adding to the prayer which requires salam is not just adding sunnah. But if you add a, a an obligation, the same thing will fix it. Salam, right? For example, it, he told you that if you subtract, if you if 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 what if what you missed was a was an obligation, only sujood uh, cannot fix it, right? But if what you add is an obligation, sujood can fix it. Okay. So when the, when 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 the when the mistake is adding, whether it is sunnah or obligation, you can fix it with sujood, with prostration, right? But when the when 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 you did miss something and what you missed is an obligation, then sujood cannot fix it. You have to bring the ad- obligation plus the sujood. That's why here he brought it here to tell you that. Um, the same, 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 same ruling applies here. There's another reason why he brought this here, and that is it. That is that that is here, because if you add one rakah, no problem. So you can fix it. What about the following case? If one, mm-hmm. we we're, we're listening. Your your microphone is. Silent is is. If you hear us, Salamata, your microphone, your mic is muted. I'm 
sorry. I had to step out really quickly. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. So next time, just let me know so that I know you're not around. Okay, so let's let's read if one. You did you did you go back again, Salamata? Is it me? Yeah, I'm. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm. I'm back now. Okay. I'm doing the English trans. I'm doing the English version because of you and Natu. So uh, I won't be explaining if you're not around. So if you need to be away to go away, just let me know. Then yeah, I'm. I'm back. I'm back now. All right, um, thank you. Where we continue from? Okay, here. If one adds what? Okay, if one adds the same amount to the prayer, then it is invalid. You see here, it, he told you that if you add one raka or one 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 uh, uh, sujod or something like that, you know, then you can fix it with up with with sujod. But if what you add is the same amount to the prayer, i.e., for ex uh, I mean, if what you add is the same amount to the prayer, then it is invalid. For example, you add two raka to. Salatul Fajr, the morning prayer. Morning prayer is suraka. Adding the same is adding another two, two other rakahs. Or you add four rakah to Dhuhr, or three rakah to Maghrib. One can forget and add one rakah, but if you have to add the same amount, that means you're not you're not you're not present. <laughs> you know, you need some discipline. All right, continue. Okay. Whoever has doubt about something in his prayer mm -hmm. must perform it. Okay. Whoever has doubt about something in his prayer must perform it. Yeah, okay. Doubt yeah, we, I think we did that. Okay, I think we... وَمَنْ شَكَّ فِي كَمَالِ الصَّلَاةِ أَتَى بِمَا شَكَّ فِيهِ Okay. Uh, whoever has doubt about something in his prayer must perform it. I mean, uh, the, the right translation, I believe, would be whoever has doubt about the completion of his prayer, mm -hmm. you know, he mm -hmm. has to bring what he has doubt about. Okay, but the, 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 the translation is short, but... The meaning can be the same. Let's say you are doubting whether you do, you did this, you did make one sujod or two sujods. I mean, you what what is what is that? What is being doubted here? The, the second sujod, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do? Perform it, meaning do it again. Okay. Yes, I'm doubting whether I did oh. two sujod or only one sujod. I'm gonna bring another sujod to make it two. So this is like in like a example, like you're praying and then, you know, you can't remember if you already did two rakas or you did one, it's just like that. Yes, you just, you're just you just going to build on the smallest amount. Okay. Okay. If I doubt whether it's two or one, it's one. If I doubt whether it's two or three, it's two. Whether if I, if I doubt whether it's three or four, it's three. If I doubt if I did uh, if I um, did the sujod or no, I'm gonna do it. That's what he's okay. saying. And the next uh, sentence will make it even more clear. What is that? What does he say here? Doubt in prayer. Uh -huh. Doubt in prayer is like certainty. Yes, doubt in so, prayer is like uh, certainty. certainty. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if you are doubt, was shakuf in nuksan Meaning, doubt is incompleteness of the prayer. It's like certainty that the prayer is, incom is incomplete. All right? Doubt yeah. in the incompleteness of the prayer is like certainty. It's like certainty. It's like you're certain that the prayer is incomplete. You know? So when you, whenever you doubt, make sure that what you are doubting is not done. Assume that whatever you are doubting, you haven't done it, right? Mm -hmm. That's why he says, 
Doubt in prayer is like certainty, okay? Mm -hmm. So? So, whoever doubts about performing a raka or sajjad, sajda, uh, must perform it and push, frustrate it after the salah. Yes. If, 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 if you are doubting whether uh, you have done this fourth raka or no, mm -hmm. you have performed the fourth raka or no, perform it. You're doubting whether you have done the last sujood or no, the second sujood or no, perform it and prostrate after the salam because most likely you have added to the prayer. All right? Mm -hmm. Because you're doubting whether you did it or no. Then you're just going to do it and then you perform two sujood. All right? If one doubts about saying the salam, he must say the salam if it was nearby and there is no prostration. Yes, one man shakka fi salami salama in kana qariban wa la sujuda alayhi. Okay, continue. Wa in. If a long time has passed, then the prayer is invalid. Yes, you're doubting whether you have, you, you, you did say your salam, the salam, the final salam, or no. If it is not long if it does if time doesn't uh you know if, if if i mean if it's nearby meaning if you 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 for example you just finished the prayer by the time you finish your baqiyah to salihat you remember that you i mean you're doubting whether i did salam or no just make salam but if you remember this after a long time then the salah is invalid you're going to have to um repeat the prayer واضح نغلرنا واضح means is it means clear is it clear okay now wal muwaswasu yatruk al waswasata wa la yati bima shakka fi okay that's what you're going to read if uh, okay the muwas with or the mu, or the muwaswas one with constant doubt the one with Constant doubt, uh huh. Continue. Must what? Fatima Cham, can you read for us? Because Salamata left again. Okay. Um, the Moas with uh -huh. one with constant doubt must remove the Waswasa whisperings from his heart and not perform what he has doubt about. Okay. But he? But he prostrates after the salam, whether he doubted about an addition or a subtraction. Thank you. No, no, thank you. Thank you. So uh, we talked about someone who doubted whether they did something or no. They were supposed to do that thing they were doubting about. But here, um, it's a different case. This person's doubt is constant. It's constant. He's, he's someone that doubts, I mean, in every prayer, he has the same problem. Then uh, we need to cure him. How to cure him is he's going to say to himself or to herself, I did it. I'm doubting whether I had two raka or three. It's a three. Four raka or three, it's four. So when you have this, um, problem of doubt, of constant doubt, this is how you solve it. It's going to be totally, it's going to be the total opposite of the rule. The rule was whenever you doubt, you bring what you doubt about. But here you're going to leave, you're going to remove the waswasa, the whispering from your heart. And you do not perform what you are doubting about. Even if you have in your heart that 19 percent in your heart almost certain that i didn't do it don't do it huh don't do it just forget it and when you finish your salam you're going to bed satan is telling you something in your mind that little voice in your head is telling you oh your, your salah is then is invalid satan shout out and say shut up my salad was good. <laughs> okay. My salad was good. The only thing you're going to need to do is 
to prostrate to prostration after salam okay whether the doubt was about add, add, adding something to the prayer or subtracting something to the, uh, from the prayer all right i'm doubting whether i i, I prayed five raka i don't care it's four but I will pray. I will do two, 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 two sujood after salam. I'm doubting whether I had three or four. It's four. You know, it's four. So here, it's more likely than I reduced something. I subtracted something from the prayer. But because I have a problem of was wasa, all my prostrations are going to be after salam. Am I making sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes sense. Good. Okay, so... Uh, it looks like Salamata is busy. So, Fatima, you can... Or Salamata, you're back? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Uh, where were we again? The Muwaswis. The Muwaswis is good. The Muwaswas is good. Mm-hmm. Al Muwaswas is one with constant die. Okay, if a person what recites what? If if a person recites the kunut audibly, there is no prostration required. But it is disliked to do that intentionally. Okay, if what is what person, Okay, go ahead. What is what is what is kunut? Kunut, kunut. If a person recites the kunut audibly, there's no frustration required, but it is just like to do that intentionally. Okay. Um, before we talk about the case, before we talk about okay in detail, what is mm-hmm. a kunut? What is a kunut? Kunut. Um, is that is that what you're saying between like when you're sitting in sujood? Okay, uh, can someone else help me or help her? Like do what um, the people do after with them, safari with them, huh? I guess? Yes, that's the kunut. That's the kunut, the, the dua, the, the dua we do, uh, in, I mean, not after safari with them, it's in with her, right? In with them. In with them. Mm-hmm. But here, when we say kunut here, we don't mean that kunut. In the Maliki Madhab, we do kunut oh. in every single Fajr prayer. Fajr yes. Mm. Right before Ruko or after Ruko. Okay, right before Ruko or after Ruko. Before Ruko is better, meaning after you recite um, the surah, before you go to Ruko, you make the dua of Al Qunut. And in the Maliki Madhab, that dua of Al Qunur, we don't recite it out loud. We recite it to ourselves. That's why he's saying here it's disliked to recite it out loud. But if you do recite it out loud, there's no sujud. All right? But if you uh, forget to do it before, before Ruko, then you can do it after Ruko. Meaning when you say Sami Allah liman hamida abana wa lakal hamdu, stay there and do the do the qunut. And the qunut in the uh, in the uh, in, in the Maliki Madhab is Allahumma inna nasta'inuka wa nasta'ghfiruka wa nu'minu bika wa natawakkalu alayka wa nakhda'u laka wa nakhla'u that's another that's a narration wa nakhna'u laka wa nakhla'u that's another narration wa natruku man yakfuruk Allahumma iyyaka na'bud wa laka nusalli wa nasjud wa ilayka nas'a wa nahfid narju rahmatak wa nakhafu adhabaka aljid inna adhabaka lil kafirin mulhaq This is one of the the, 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 the the versions there are some slight different in different versions but this one is one of the Maliki Madhab's versions okay so and and and, uh, and qunut after uh-huh, qunut before ruku' is narrated that someone like Sayyidina Umar used to do it and Sayyidina Ibn Abi Talib 
and Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and other Sahaba. That's the mother of Imam Malik and Masab Ishaq of Ishaq. Uh-huh. <coughs> yes. Uh-huh. Imam, uh, is uh, is not it uh, like in the Quran? What do you mean? No, it's not. It's a dua. Okay. It's a dua. Okay. It's a dua. Mm. Yeah. Was it like a sunnah of uh, the, the Prophet to recite the Quran? Of, uh, uh, of course, it is a sunnah. It is a, it is a it is a sunnah. Some scholars say that it was abrogated. That's why they don't do it. Some schol- some scholars they okay. only do kunur when there is a catastrophe. For example, what is happening in Palestine. Or but reality yeah, is, okay. reality is it is sunnah because as I told you, it was narrated from many sahaba, Sidna Omar, Sidna Ali, Sidna Abdullah ibn Masoud, and many other sahaba, and that's the madhab yeah. of Imam Malik and Imam Ishaq. Uh, so it is of course a sunnah. But what the, 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 what the what what the author is saying here is that uh, if one does it, what is where where we again? If we if we recite it, if if we if we you know audibly, he said there is no sujud, meaning that when we talk about audible recitation or or silent recitation, we're not talking about. The, the the dua of qunut because whether you decide audibly or silently there's no sujud yes it is disliked to recite it audibly but even if one does it then there is no sujud that's what he's saying here if a person decides the qunut audibly there is no prostration required mm. but it is disliked meaning it's makru to do that intentionally you know so we do recite Qunut with uh, silent uh, mm. voice or silent recitation. Mm-hmm. Good to go? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, good to go. I think, did, did we cover this um, in Wolof, this part, the Qunut part? No, we didn't do it. We didn't do, we didn't okay. do the Qunur part. No, we didn't do it yet in Wolof. Okay, so we're going to do it together, inshallah. Um, so far, Shall. this is what we have covered. Uh, Sister Salamata, uh, this is what yes. we have covered in um, in our last uh, classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, regarding this chapter of regarding this chapter of Sahu uh-huh. looks like time is passing but maybe we're going to cover just a little bit more inshallah ta'ala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam muhammadin Ikfa Institute, Al Madina Travel, Salum Jida, Sen Info International, Aktori Hatijania in America, Si Njital Sunyu Imam Muhammad Muntaha Saho, Nyolin Dimai, Emission Bumak, Bidi Sandine.